You're watching CN2 News. Two Chester County principals wanted to make a difference during the pandemic. They started Create and Educate LLC to help educators and parents during some tough times. They're focusing on literacy and leadership. CN2's Rayelle Jackson has more on how they're helping the community. Create and Educate, we are a consulting firm that works with educators as well as entrepreneurs. So with our the site where we're working with educators, we offer professional development with on literacy as well as implicit bias. We um, work with leaders and leadership teams to help improve schools. They've been surviving pandemic education by offering tips for school leaders, teachers, and parents. We really want to see kids through the trajectory, graduating from high school, ready to go to college or to start a career or to go into the military. Create and Educate has multiple community partners in the area that read books to children weekly, discuss literature and express their support for the education system. Recently, the owners were featured for Amazon's number one best-selling book entitled Women Who Lead in Education. And so we are super, super excited because we're amongst a family of women leaders who are absolutely extraordinary. So it's an honor to have been asked to participate. And then even more of an honor now that the book um, is has gone on sale and it became um, a number one bestseller. So you don't have to be a school leader to have leadership qualities. Collectively, both Tammy Taylor, principal of Great Falls Elementary and Dr. Sheikha Houston, principal of Chester Middle School, have 40 years of service in education. They have learned the need in their community and they plan to serve all children in all communities. And one of the things that we um, enlighten people about in our professional development with literacy is that sometimes it's hard for children to connect to text because they don't see themselves in text. Providing that culturally relevant literature for students, and that's not just African-American students, that's all students. Every student at every school should be able to see themselves in a book, in a text, to be able to connect with it. Surviving pandemic education together in Chester, Rail Jackson, CN2 News. Again, their goal is to help connect educators, parents, community members, and authors each week to help better navigate the pandemic. To learn more about Create and Educate LLC, simply follow them on Facebook or at their website at createandeducate.com. Create and Educate held their first personal event after a year of completely virtual events. The organization started during the pandemic and their goal was to create a way to educate students, teachers and families virtually during their lunch and learn event. Teachers, university experts, leaders and educators speaking about ways to prepare students since the pandemic. It has been very difficult. Um, some teachers have decided to leave the profession as well as leaders. So we know that education is something that all of our children need. We want to be able to build resilience in our leaders and our teachers so that our education system will be resilient as well. We needed to provide the space for some dialogue on how we move forward from here and how we can shift where we are in education so that as we move forward, we're moving forward and we are not just trying to do school as usual, but truly looking for some new and innovative ideas for what's going to take us to that next level. Create and Educate also celebrating its one year anniversary. Join Sheikha and Tammy on the collaborative, let's go! One, two, one, two. The collaborative. What's that time? On Facebook Tuesday at 7. The, the collaborative. The collaborative. Who we have? Come on. We have our leaders. We have our teachers and our parents. We have our authors. Story time at the end, solving problems in our education system. Phenomenal women. Join them 
on Facebook. On Facebook, Tuesday at 7, the Collaborative. It's that time you will Sheikha and Tammy. The Collaborative. Phenomenal ladies. It's educational. The on the Facebook. The Collaborative. The Collaborative. Good evening, everyone. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Collaborative. We are excited about our new and upcoming season um, this year for The Collaborative, where we will be coming together um, at the first of each month. And we're in a different location because Tammy has had her retreat this uh, actually today with her teacher. So if you hear a little echo, it's because we're in a, um, a larger space. But uh, we hope that you'll enjoy our back to school special today. Absolutely. And so sorry we are in the venue, but we didn't have time to get um, back to Great Falls and get a computer. So it's one of those things. But there with us, we had an awesome, awesome two days with my staff and my leadership team. So it's been well, well worth it. And we wanna just say great evening to everybody. Thank you again so much for joining us and for always supporting the work that Shika and I do. Uh, we want to just encourage you to share and like the feed. Don't keep us all to yourselves, but tell everybody um, to join us because we have a very, very special guest on with us tonight. And as you can say, this is our um, get back in school and starting of a new school year season um, episode tonight. So just bearing in mind, you know that she cannot consider ourselves to be your problem solver educators. And that's because we feel like we can't solve problems alone. So we come together once a month um, to bring awareness and to bring collaborators together to form that true alliance that we need around real topics in education because we need to hear each other's voices. We really believe that we truly are so much better together. So please tell us where you're from um, and as you are commenting, let us know where you're coming in from and Tell us some good things that are happening with you as we are heading into this new school year. Definitely, Tammy. And we are very happy to provide you all, teachers, students, parents, with this uh, back, to, back to school tips on this episode, on our annual uh, back to school episode. So as we all are excited to gear back up and get back into school, we thank you all for joining us and thank you for commenting and letting us know that you're here and just share this with, with some more people so that everyone can get the great words of inspiration that we're gonna hear today. So since we are an educational show, you know we always start with on this day in history and on today, James Baldwin, Baldwin was born in New York City in 1924. He was an essayist, a playwright, a novelist, and basically a voice uh, for the American civil rights movement and known for lots of great works uh, to include Notes of a Native Son, The Fire Next Time, and Go Tell It on the Mountain. I've quoted him in so many different things that I've, I've used and done. Yes, James Fallen has so many, so many impressive works that we could not even begin to name all of them. One of my very, very, very favorite authors. Definitely. So, Tammy, let's go ahead and get started and tell yes. us uh, who we have with us this evening. So, we are so excited to bring on with us Dorothy Dot McKeever Jeter, retired principal. Welcome, Ms. Dot. We are so glad to have you on with us tonight. Great. It's great to be here. Thank you. Thank we are you. going to provide um, an introduction to this phenomenal lady. Um, some of you probably already know her. And so I know you're looking forward to this amazing treat. Uh, but we want to do justice by giving her 
the introduction that she deserves. So again, <laughs> introducing Dorothy Dot McKeever Jeter, retired principal. Dot Jeter was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. She is a product of a strong family with moral support and guidance. Dot is a mother of two grown children and four grandchildren. In 1974, Dot graduated from Morgan Park High School. She went on to continue her formal education at the National College of Education. In 1978, Dot earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in education. In 1991, she received her Master of Arts in Administration and Supervision from Roosevelt University. In 2006, Dot was a recipient of an honorary doctorate degree in education from the Gospel Ministry Outreach Theological Institute. Dot Jeter served as a teacher, language arts coordinator, and an assistant principal for the Chicago public school system. She served as a principal in school districts 149, 155, and 148. <laughs> Dot retired in 2017 with 33 years in education and 24 of those years in administration. So we salute you for that, Ms. Dodd. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately after retiring in 2017, Dodd started working as a mentor for new principals through Governor State University School of Extended Learning, New Leaders Mentoring Program. During Dodd's years in education, she was honored in many capacities from various organizations for her outstanding support and leadership ability. Her notable awards are the You've Made a Difference Award from the Youth Unshackled Ministries Encouragement Event in 2005. In 2008, she received an award from Greater St. John of Morecambe Church, a motivational speaker for their first annual youth rally. Dot also received the Strathmore's Who's Who Award for demonstrating outstanding leadership and achievement in her occupation, industry, and profession. Finally, in 2017, Dot was the recipient of the Stanley C. Golder Leadership Award, finalist Golden Apple Foundation. Dot is a visionary, and like so many other visionaries, she is guided by her spirit. She has extraordinary ideas and has a wonderful gift of inspiring those who are around her. So thank you so much, Ms. Dot, for being in this Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 2022-2023 school year. And at this time, I want everyone to close their eyes. I know it sounds elementary, but it works. Close your eyes. Taking a deep breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And as you exhale, release all toxins, all negative thoughts, your thinking that are hold that you're holding inside, let them go. Let those thoughts that are blocking you from your good, your desires, and your success release them. Now open up your eyes, and now I will start. <laughs> you are not here by accident. You are here on purpose to make a difference in this world. I understand this. You're not here by accident. There's a reason why you are here, right here and now. It is your birthright to live a happy, prosperous, and successful life. You were born with all the tools to help you and guide you into success for yourself, 
and for others, everyone that you come into contact with. You are responsible for getting all of your knowledge that you deserve to be successful. You have to be thirsty for the knowledge and don't settle for less than what you deserve. You are capable and you need to believe in yourself. So affirm, I am capable. I believe in myself. Whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can be achieved. That was by Napoleon Hill. You will be faced with challenges and you will make mistakes. How you handle your challenges and your mistakes will make a difference. It will determine your outcome, your results. Your challenges and mistakes will help you grow. They will take you to a higher level. When you get the lesson, the blessing from each of them, you move on. Growth is not an option. What you, how, how you got here won't get you there. Because you have to grow. That growth you did a long time ago, there's much needed to get you there for now where you want to go. You can't continue doing the same thing and expect to get different results. Know that you are a spiritual being living in a spiritual universe governed by spiritual law as you undergo your human experiences. Now, you need to be careful of your thinking, your thoughts. Your thinking and your thoughts are so very powerful. Your words are very powerful. What you think about, you bring about. You bring into existence. Know that you are the thinker who think the thoughts that make the things. Your thinking guides everything throughout your life. Therefore, think positive thoughts. Maintain positive thoughts. The thoughts so you can have positive results. Visualize your desires and write them down. Because your mind is a tool to help you get to your desires. And how you use your mind matters. Your thinking is a creative power of your mind. That creates the mental blueprints for your outer experiences. You create your own experiences. So your mind is always forming and shaping. That's why it's so very important to watch your thoughts and watch your thinking. You are a mental field that is constantly radiating and attracting experiences according to your dominant ways of thinking, feelings, and beliefs. Your beliefs make a difference. I'm going to read a poem to you right now and think about it. It's called the habit poem. I am your constant companion. I am your greatest helper or your heaviest burden. I will push you onward or drag you down to failure. I am completely at your command. Half of the things you do might as well turn over to me and I will do them quickly and correctly. I am easily managed. You will be firm with me. You must be firm with me. Show me exactly how you want something done. And after a few lessons, I will do them automatically. I am the servant of great people. 
and the last of all failures as well. Those who are great, I have made great. Those who are failures, I have made failures. I am not a machine, though. I work with the procession of a machine plus the intelligence of a person. You may run me for profit or run me for ruin. It makes no difference to me. Take me, train me, be firm with me, and I will place the world at your feet. Be easy with me. I will destroy you. Who am I? I am habit. Watch your thoughts and watch your habits. If you're not keeping good habits, you need to go back and rethink everything because you want to form good habits. Change your thinking will change your life. How you think about yourself and others makes a big difference of your outcome. Remember, it's important to build relationships so your students, your children can be successful in life. Claim it. Claim it. I'm claiming it for you to have a successful year. Yes. You have to claim it and think positive and don't make excuses. Erase excuses in your life. It's about making a difference that touch the lives of each student. Not all. We want to say each, each individual student. Meet them where they are and carry them on. And parents, you're going to have struggles with your students. They're growing and learning. We all must be patient with the, the young individuals we have before us. And I'm going to read one other last poem. It's called The Starfish. Something else to think about. Once upon a time, there was a wise man that used to go to the ocean to do his riding. He had a habit of walking on the beach before he began his work. One day he was walking along the shore. As he looked down the beach, he saw a human figure moving like a dancer. He smiled to himself to think of someone who would dance to the day. So he began to walk a little closer to catch up. As he got closer, he saw that it was a young man and the young man wasn't dancing, but instead he was reaching down to the shore, picking up something and very gently throwing it into the ocean. As he got closer, he called out, good morning, what are you doing? The young man paused, looked up and replied, throwing starfish in the ocean. I guess I should have asked, why are you throwing starfish in the ocean? The sun is up, the tide is going out. If you don't throw them, they will die. But the young man, don't you realize that there are miles and miles of beach and starfish all along it? You can't possibly make a difference. The young man listened politely. Then he bent down, picked up another starfish and threw it into the sea, past the breaking waves and said, it made a difference for that one. There is something very special in each and every one of us. We have all been gifted with the ability to make a difference. If you become aware of that gift, you can gain through the strength of your visions, the power to shape the future. Sometimes the classroom is a bit like a beach covered with starfish. We must find, we must each find our starfish and no, we do make a difference Amen. to the students that we have before us. So again, I want each and every one of you to have a very successful year. Think positive. 
because your thoughts are going to visualize. So you want to have positive thoughts. You can't think two, two ways. You can't say to people, oh, I, I'm going to have a successful year. All of my students are going to be successful. And then you're thinking something just the opposite. It doesn't work. You won't be effective and you won't be successful. So think positive so you can have positive results because all things are possible. If you can conceive it, believe it, you would definitely achieve it. So have a wonderful, wonderful, successful school year. I know you will because I'm claiming it for you. Now I need you to back up my claim and make it happen. That's right. Thank you so much. Yes. So much wisdom. Um, so many empowering words that all of our students, parents, and um, educators need to hear as we get ready to start this new school year. And um, we were just talking a moment ago about how things are just so different now. And so we're facing so many different challenges, but we can overcome those challenges mm -hmm. just with what you talked about, right. positive thoughts, right. um, speaking the right things over our children before they leave home. And then as they come into our buildings, educators speaking great things over our children when they get there. So thank you right. for those words. And creating that atmosphere that allows for students and staff to be able to thrive and learn and grow because that's what this uh, business right. is all about. The um, challenges are means of growth. And, mm -hmm. you know, you look back, I'm gonna say the three years, cause we, it was two years, pandemic and then you now we, you had a year of trying to getting back together getting things together mm -hmm. but the pandemic did have its faults mm -hmm. it's the negative faults but if you think about it it made everyone grow you mm -hmm. learn how to do things in a different way mm -hmm. you learn how to meet the needs of people for people in different ways different mm -hmm. formats so you have to look at the positive because if we keep looking at the negative, things are not going to change. And I appreciate those pearls of wisdom, like she could say it. Ms. Dodd is just such a refreshing um, energizer to have someone to speak that over your school year. And if no one else does, I receive the yes, message yes. we will go into this with great expectations right and just we, remember you are your own experiences the experiences that you uh come into is not the fault of anyone else that's right it's yours and and just as you stated uh words are so powerful you know we had not met before but i heard you and then this is the power of social media on your interview with principal kafele mm -hmm. and one of the questions he asked you was who inspires you and you um mentioned my name and i was in the kitchen doing something i said wait did she say she <laughs> <laughs> principal, principal kafele said she's on here now <laughs> so just um just being a powerful woman that uh, has paved the way for people like Tammy and I, women in leadership like Tammy and I, we appreciate you, we salute you, and then you are still continuing to empower and embrace other women. Uh, so many times as women and young girls, sometimes we're not taught those things. So for you to demonstrate that and for us to be able to model that for our young girls that are watching and other women that are watching, that is just what we're all about. What the whole premise behind the collaborative is working with one another, encouraging one another and lifting as we climb. So we thank you and we salute you. Right. And I just want to add that education is so very important and that you have to understand that people can take the clothes off your back, can take your money. But it's one thing they can't take away from you. And that's your education, because it's up here. So that's why it's very important that we provide our students, our youth with everything that they possibly need to be successful. Because yeah. just think that child that you have before you teaching, 
could marry your child one day. <laughs> so you want to make sure you educate a whale. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Very true. Yeah. And before we end this evening, and um, Josh had asked, is this the um, same Dot G, um, Principal Jeter that was on with Principal Kefele? Yes, that's her, Josh. So um, spread the word. And I know he is a, appreciative of your words as well. Um, before we end, we always like to have a little fun um, this or that principal edition uh, with our guests. So we just want to get to know who you are as a leader. So these are just little general questions. Um, oh, put me on the spot, huh? You do the Kefele things. Okay, it was powerful. No, they're, they're, like, okay. they're not like Christmas Kefele questions. <laughs> these, these are just for fun. Okay. I don't know if if you've seen the uh, guy that makes fun of principals when he walks in with his keys and is making all that noise. These are just some of the things that we joke about as leaders. Okay. So as a principal or a leader, um, could you hear you coming or would you just appear out of nowhere? No, my students and teachers used to tell me they could hear me coming because I wore <laughs> heels yeah. and they can determine if I was on a mission <laughs> or just browsing through because they always just do when they heard me walking kick, 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 they go, uh oh you know they've closed their doors again they said, oh she's ordered somebody right now so, oh no they heard me coming <laughs> <laughs> okay and um, then i started wearing gym shoes so i can sneak up <laughs> <laughs> Um, did you wear jeans on Friday with the teachers or did you dress, keep it professional always? No, my teachers, I, we used to have jean day on Fridays and my staff used to tease me and say, you know what, Dot? Even when you wear jeans, you look dressed up. Like <laughs> bling. So my jeans suits, my, you know, my blue jean jackets had bling bling on it and everything. So they used to tease me and say, you know what, you have on the jeans, but you still not dressed down. So right. <laughs> dress, dress up the jeans. I like it. <laughs> and were you um, during lunch? Did you sit down to lunch or were you lunch on the go? What's lunch? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Right. I swear I didn't have lunch. My teachers, if they would go out and stuff, they would bring me lunch. Mm -hmm. I don't. I never had hot lunch because it was always cold. Mm -hmm. So then I learned. I went to Menards, a hardware store, and I bought this um, cloth uh, tool belt, uh, like and tied it around. And I kept my district sale, my sale, my little mm -hmm. iPad. And I used to keep uh, bags of carrots and celery and stuff so I could have something <laughs> simple because I never was in my office. So I was always <laughs> out and about, you know, so I don't even know what lunch I, that's not in my, it wasn't in my vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. Then it's still not in my vocabulary. <laughs> Same here. That's what yeah. people say. How do you survive? You never eat. <laughs> yes, yes. We didn't have time. But yeah. that was just something fun. Um, just just to get to know uh, you as a leader. <laughs> and is there anything that you're reading that you recommend to any of our uh, listeners today? Oh, I'm 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 reading so much. But uh, my books right now is basically um, I just got a couple of new books, and this one is uh, actually no, this one I just purchased Fighting the Good Fight. Mm -hmm. uh, I I've heard about. Uh, that and then some other things, uh, the the wellness book, more spiritual things, so okay. I can stay connected and stay focused. <laughs> right, that is important. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Well, we thank you again for your words, and we're um, coming to a close. And I guess great minds think alike because we are ending with a poem. <laughs> we normally end with story time, but uh, one of the things that we do as a part of our work is connect the educators with great resources. So I'm gonna read um, a poem from one of our authors that we work with, Mr. Randall Daniels. He's also a speaker. So if you're looking for a back to school speaker, um, he would be a great person to contact. The book is called, You Can Be Who You Can See. And the poem is your story. Your, sto your life is your story. Make a life story filled with positive inventory. Every life is different frame by frame, could look similar, but no two are the same. 
Live the story you want to tell. Legacy comes from your story as well. When you are long gone, what will people say? Will kids tell their kids that you passed this way? It's your journey, your very own path. Every decision you make has aftermath. Life will pass by in a hurry and every last creature lives its very own story. What will your story say? So if you all would just think about that, um, students and educators, as you're going back into the school year, make sure that your story is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that your story actually leads to the legacy that you want to leave in the imprints that you make on people's minds. Most definitely. And I wanna thank you the both of you, Josh, Sean, Principal Kafele, for making a difference in everyone's lives. Because I truly enjoy listening to each and every one of you every Saturday. And Sean, sometimes when he's out, it's on, on a different day. Josh <laughs> <laughs> is on Sunday. So I do enjoy listening. I do share your information with my protégés and to others. Well, thank we sure you so much. It. We do appreciate that. And we appreciate you taking the time to tune in every Saturday and sharing and also you being here with us this evening. Definitely. Yes. yes. My pleasure. <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you everyone for joining us. And thank you again, Ms. Dot. We look forward to seeing you every Saturday morning. Yes. So we appreciate the support and we're going to ask guys that you um, just continue to get with us again. We're here every first Tuesday each month. Okay. And right. don't forget to tune in with us this Saturday at 1030. We will be still continuing um, how to start your year strong. We're going to focus on parents this um, Saturday and give you all some tips to help your students and children have a, a great school year this year. So we're looking forward to that message. And thank you all for tuning in. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. And thank you. Thank Bye. you. You have a great rest yeah. of the week. Yeah. You're Sheikha and Tammy on The Collaborative. Let's go. The Collaborative. One, two, one, two. The Collaborative. What's that time? On Facebook Tuesday at 7. Oh